like go. Tires burn the pavement. People want to know where Mace Poss and Dave went. Still here, still in your ear with a stop so hot. No see where all the sun rays went. Legs, arms, and head all being moved in a frenzy. The blends be all the right cred. Meaning credentials. Best of both worlds when we rocking over pearls. And the instrumental. Are you ready? From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. On second and nine, Roethlisberger. And some room to run now. Touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. They are in a zone. Remember, folks, four interceptions for this defense a week ago. First drive, make it number five. And the focal point will be the people who pick the ball out of the air. But let's not forget, to make that happen, it has to be an excellent pass rush. Terrific coverage where they are plastered to the receivers. And then, of course, taking it away. Making the catch and going in the other direction. Meanwhile, here's a shot for the end zone right away, but it's incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. 
This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. The Steeler defense proving its mettle here. And now this is third and goal. Single, single, single slot, single slot. On third and goal, Stidham. Yeah, he's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Roethlisberger going to get this one to Connor. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith. And that's caught inside the 35. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Juju Smith-Schuster. His fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Extra point put through by Boswell. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. Out of the gun, Stidham. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go, let's go. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, so and time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. And he's taken down. Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Now Roethlisberger. And yes, complete to the tight end McDonald. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Throwing on second down, Roethlisberger. And they get to it with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Dante Hightower coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And that'll kick and go out of bounds just outside the 15 at the 16-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming. Double up. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. They run the counter. Dobbins. They find some open field here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. They go play action now. Stidham. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Cameron Hayward. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Hey, seven. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a second down coming up. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now it's Stidham. And he's going to go down 
again. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Stidham. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to be met behind the line of scrimmage and taken down. And a penalty flag is going to come out on top of it. The Patriots send out their punter. Back deep for the Steelers, Ryan Switzer. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On second and nine, Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And able to find Kirk complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Got to say, it was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Devin McCourty brings him down. A free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And following that punt, which turned out as well as it possibly could have, this offense has 99 yards to go to the other end zone. And the defense is frothing in the mouth with a chance to get points themselves. If they tackle a runner in the end zone, safety. And if there's a holding call in the end zone, that's also a safety as well. So either way you decide to go on offense, you've got to be careful. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. You go tight. Leo, Leo. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Sean Davis that time on the tackle. Third and one, Stidham. Open man is Gordon, complete. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Oh, he's got some space. Man, man. It's our time. Jack three. 
They'll run on first down. Dobbins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Mind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. They go play action with Stidham. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain there of 21 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Here we go, here we go. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now. On first and ten, it's Stidham. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Cameron Hayward picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here we go. 15 run. 15 run. Coming on, coming. Watch 98. Watch 98. 98's a mic. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Ready? On third down, Stidham. And Ingram holds it in. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Evan Ingram, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And it's now 21-7. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. Let's go. Let's go. The the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Roethlisberger will throw. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Here's Roethlisberger. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's incomplete. Both players had a shot at that one. Neither can get it. And it brings up fourth down. That's looking like another three and out here. And at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. And we're not even at halftime. Now Brown. And running with power here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. 
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From midfield now, here's Stidham. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed, and he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to, and I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Start! 180! Now Roethlisberger on first down. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Check, check, five. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Watch twist. Watch twist. They run the counter. Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Hey, echo. They'll throw on first down with Stidham. This will be caught by Brown. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. Play action. It's Stidham. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Goskowski the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Now Roethlisberger, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves. And this is going to be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Go! On first down, Dobbins. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Now Stidham on second down. It's caught. This is right. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Give him six yards in the first down. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Ready, From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Dobbins. Second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. We got this. 
the Steelers take over first and ten at their own 25 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together Charles and... And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks. And the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Steps away to his left. He finds his tight end, Gentry. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He was out there waving his arms. Well, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 30. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know all week long he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. So many different weapons available in that Patriot backfield. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Stidham. Blitz coming and down he goes. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. The throw here going to be complete to Gordon. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brings up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and 15. They run the counter. Dobbins. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Here we go. Here we go. On second down, Samuels, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let it go deep, and that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. 
And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Pats at the line, ready to go. This ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams, they put it all together. And I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Dobbins, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And they are gonna take possession of the football inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Open man here is Gentry. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now it's Connor. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. The Steelers on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and seven. Now it's Roethlisberger. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Boswell's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. On well, the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw that happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? Yes, as, the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all right. happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. Dobbins, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Watch the twist. Check 
50. Check 50. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We got double. Hatchet. Hatchet. Yeah. On third down, Dobbins, and he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try the left side. Dobbins. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal, in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan. Pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish. Just love the execution. Love the tenacity. Love the way they finished. So for New England, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.